What's going on gamers? It's Roll Easy here and today I'm here to show you how to hit the new Give Cars to Friends glitch. Now it came out originally for PlayStation, it works for both, we all knew that, but there's a few steps that are a little bit tricky on Xbox, mainly the step when it comes to joining a friend so that we can get guns in the bunker. Alright, so uh, yeah, we're going to go through this pretty thoroughly. Uh, first of all, let me shout out the uh, the founders, Killer Gaming, Celestial Gaming, Macclefield UK, Salem's 350G, and Cesar 909 Alright, so shout out to those guys for coming up with this awesome glitch. Uh, what you're going to need is two friends, a new invite only session for each car that is given. So uh, yeah, anyone can be the host of these sessions, so that doesn't really matter. An MOC with a free elegy inside your personal vehicle storage if you want to receive the car. And uh, yeah, free aim in case someone gets stuck in a black loading screen. You shouldn't get stuck in any as long as you follow my steps right here. And, uh, and you know, follow my video, you know, down to a T. Now, here's one thing. It's just a recommendation of mine, but it is a lot easier if everybody owns the same bunker. So if all three of you guys are in the same bunker, or own the same bunker, it's definitely going to be a lot easier, right? We all own the uh, the farmhouse bunker, and it seemed to work pretty flawlessly for us once we got into a rhythm. All right, it's not necessary, but I do recommend everybody owning the same bunker. All right, now I'm going to tell you how we're going to be doing this video. This main screen right here is the person receiving the car, and in the top right, you're going to see perspectives from friend one and friend two. Friend one is the guy getting glitched out in the bunker with guns. Friend 2 is always going to be the one giving the car, and basically the first steps that they're going to do is Friend 2 needs to start up Titan of a Job and sit there, while Friend 1 is joining him to get glitched out in the bunker. The person receiving the car needs to grab their elegy out of the MOC and park it like you see me here, getting the right D-pad option, and just ready to go, more towards the right side I would say. Alright, so right now I'm the person receiving the car, I'm waiting here right by my elegy, Friend 1 is going to be getting glitched out with guns in the bunker in the top right corner. Friend 2, the person giving the car, is outside with his car, but he jumped into Titan of a Job temporarily. So, Friend 1, he's up there in the top right. This is what Friend 1 is doing. Stand next to the, da uh, next to the blue circle of his MOC in his bunker. And what you're going to do is, you're going to go to the Xbox dashboard, spam on join game on the guy who's in Titan of a Job, Friend 2. And then right when you get the session details, run into the circle. Spam on A, tell your friend to back out real quick, and then once your friend backs out of the job, you're going to get a, an error joining that game. Once that happens, boom, check it out. You spawn back in a default bunker. Okay, that is the hardest part to be honest with you. It's tricky on Xbox. You can also start running towards it and have your friend spam you some invites to that job and accept them as you're running towards your blue circle to your MOC. That is the other method to actually hit this. You can hit it either way. So once you're glitched out, you know you're glitched out because you got guns and everything in the bunker, go ahead and throw two sticky bombs about right where you see them. I threw them a little bit too close. I'd say throw them a bit more towards the other side of that light, but that's what you're going to see. And as you can see on my main screen, my friend, he can't see me uh, at all. He can't see anything. It's all just invisible to him. But as you can see, I saw where he put those stickies. Even though he was in his bunker and his MOC and everything like that, he spawns right there in that default thing, so he is actually uh, basically glitched out inside of the bunker. Now, as the person receiving the car, I'm going to be running outside now. Now what's going to happen is, friend 2 has already backed out of the job, he's out there waiting in the car that he's going to be giving me. So shout out to my boy Wise right here, and shout out to BMX for helping me out with this video. Now, what's going to happen is, he is the driver of his car right now. I'm in the passenger seat. He is going to go towards the yellow circle to his bunker, and he's going to open up the interaction menu right when he gets to that yellow circle and spam Y. Now, that's what's happening. In the top right, I'm showing you my perspective how I did it. So I'm driving, uh, open up interaction menu right when I hit that yellow circle and spam Y. You would walk away, and then you would see the car disappear. In his perspective, he's getting sucked in, okay? So right now, I'm the person receiving the car. I got sucked into his bunker. You see with the dune, I'm actually in his bunker right now. That's what just happened. So at this point, I'm actually gonna run back outside. Since I'm in his bunker, his vehicle, but he didn't, uh, he didn't get sucked in, I'm gonna run outside and then run back into my own bunker. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Remember, he drove us into his bunker, but he, he got out of the vehicle. Okay, so now I'm gonna run out because I was in his bunker. Now I'm going back into my own bunker. And when you go back in, 
Now, what you should see is his vehicle, in this case, it's the dune that he's giving me. This is in my bunker now, okay? So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and position this vehicle over by my Elegy, that's over there by the MOC, okay? Now, what's gonna happen is basically make sure that your other friend doesn't go into uh, his bunker when you, get, uh, when you get sucked into it, or else the free Elegy will disappear. All right, so now at this point, you're gonna go ahead and shoot an invite to friend two. All right, friend two, the one giving the car. You see, that's friend one still glitched out with guns in the bunker. He still has his gun out there. So I'm inviting friend two, who just, uh, you know, gave me this car, basically. It's sitting in my bunker. I'm inviting him into my own bunker. Okay, now when friend two gets into, uh, into your bunker, you guys are gonna jump into the free elegy together. Now, the positioning of this doesn't really matter too much. Just get it kind of close. This dune was a bit tricky, but I just kind of backed it up because you're gonna be driving towards the bunker doors anyway. But uh, yeah, so I'm hopping into my elegy. Friend two, who was giving me the car, who was outside, he will now jump into my free elegy. What he's gonna do is sign in as a CEO, and he's gonna hover over retire as CEO. You're gonna see how it looks in the top right. So this is when I was in that position. So I'm just gonna sign in as a CEO and go hover over retire. Simple as that. Now what's gonna happen is at this point, I'm the guy receiving the car down on the main screen. I'm gonna hit right D-pad and get frozen right there. And then I'm gonna tell my friend, friend one, to go ahead and blow up the sticky bombs. So that's the friend with guns in the bunker. Now I'm frozen. Okay, friend one went ahead and blew up the sticky bombs that he placed there early in the video. I'm frozen right here. So press right on the D-pad, tell him to blow them up and then you will be frozen. Now, friend one, uh, guns in the bunker, his last step now will be to jump into a job. He needs to jump into Titan of a job, and you will proceed to go to start, friends, and you'll join him through that menu. Okay, you can join him through the dashboard if you like, but this will be a lot quicker. Now, once you get that alert, you tell him because he needs to back out of that job. So I'm joining game, right now I'm at the alert. Tell him to back out right now. Once he's back down, accept the alerts. If you sit at this alert too long, you will get booted to story. Okay, so he told me he's backed out of the job. I get the unable to connect. Boom, I'm back down here. Now, once I'm back down here, I can proceed to actually getting out of the car. Sometimes your friend will get kicked from the car, sometimes he won't. But at this point, we're pretty much almost done with the glitch. Now, all I gotta do is jump into the dune that he was giving me, and I gotta just go towards the left corner of the door. As you can see right here, you can go to the left or the right corner, but I'm gonna hit the left corner right here. So hit the left corner and check it out. I get I get freaking spawned right into that cutscene going into my own MOC. And that's basically it. Now, you can't see the dune in this video because what happens is the dune is so big, it kind of gets caught in like the twilight zone outside the MOC, but it is saved in there. There is a dune in there. Uh, normally, if you had a car, you would see your car in the uh, in your MOC. You would see it right here. Now, what I do is I stay here for like 30, 40 seconds, maybe click on your outfit, change an accessory to force a game save. You'll see this load icon or the save icon in the bottom right. And then what you would proceed to do is go ahead and jump into creator and then invite only session. Then you'll be able to access your car and you'll be able to, you know, switch them up and you guys will be able to give another car. You know, we found a good rhythm actually just, you know, after we were done here, somebody else got a car, then somebody else got a car. Okay, so those are the steps, guys. I mean, it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't when you just when it gets boiled down. It's a uh, it's a good amount of steps. I'll leave some steps of my own in the uh, description or maybe the pinned comment so check down there but yeah that's pretty much the uh, the entirety of the glitch so i'm gonna go ahead and jump into creator right now uh once i have forced the game save and i've kind of stood in here long enough but uh yeah so here we go i'm forcing the game save uh right now you're gonna see the save icon on the bottom right and then i'm gonna jump into creator so here are some uh some tips as well that i wanted to say so like i said for friend one who has guns in the bunker uh, he's got two options either stand right next to his blue circle to his moc and basically he can he can join game through the dashboard when the dashboard collapses run into the blue circle and then spam on a tell the friend to back out of the job who's in titan of a job so that you can get the unable to connect and then he'll get spit back down into the default bunker the other option is stand about a car length away and run towards the blue circle and accept invites that he's spamming you while in Titan of a job so that by the time you get to the blue circle it's gotten session details already and then you can go ahead and tell him to back out once you've accepted that first uh, alert right there 
And uh, yeah, you should get the unable to connect or friend no longer in session alert and get spit right back down and into the default bunker with everything invisible. If everything's invisible and you can take out guns, you know you're glitched out. All right. For friend two, when he's doing the interaction menu part, you know, driving his vehicle that he's giving you into his bunker, his yellow circle, what he is, uh, a little tip, only spam Y or triangle about two times, okay? And the reason for that is if you spam it too much, you're actually going to get right back into the car and get sucked in with him. The friend giving you the car does not want to get sucked into the MOC. Only the passenger, the person receiving the car, wants to get sucked into his MOC. And then once you're sucked into his MOC, you're going to be put in the driver's seat, you're going to get kicked out, and then you run out of his bunker, and then you run back into your bunker. Okay, that's why I said everybody should have the same bunker. It makes it a lot easier. All right, and then once you're in there, you should see his vehicle that he was giving you glitched inside your bunker. Okay, and uh, yeah, make sure, yeah, he doesn't go in there because if he does, your RHA will disappear or your car could get bricked. If your car gets bricked, you can set it to crew access only, back out, and then set it back to everyone, and then the car should be unbricked. Now, the person receiving the car after you're frozen behind the MOC joining a game, do not sit on that alert, okay? Uh, one friend, one who was glitched on the bunker joins Titan of a job to get you unfrozen inside your RH8 after the, after the MOC blew, uh, blows up. Make sure you don't sit on that alert too long. If you sit on that alert too long, you will get booted to story. So right when you're on that alert, you got to tell him to back out of Titan of a job. Once he's backed out fully of Titan of a job, he'll let you know. And then at that point, go ahead and accept all the alerts and it'll switch you back down into the RH8 unfrozen so you can get out and you can go ahead and grab the car that you want. All right. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. I know a lot of people are going to have questions and there's going to be confusion. So go ahead and put them down in the comments. Uh, make sure to like this video if you did enjoy it. Uh, subscribe if you're new by hitting the big red button and turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody, and have a great day.